What's up guys, this is Save Knight, and welcome back to Wizardry Tale of the Forsaken Land for the PS2. I just finished wandering around B9. Got a lot of junk. But I'm not going to walk the town yet because I want to do a thing that happens on B10. I'll <gasps> uh, make coming back here easier. So we be ten testament. Eh. No, my chair. Look what we have here. You came all the way down here. Uh, yeah, bitch. I did. Not bad. So you happy now? Then go home. Sorry, but I don't feel like letting anyone else pass here. Too fucking bad. Saying that Virgil stuck out her tongue. That brat Eugene got past me, but I learned something interesting from his subordinate monsters. Seems that he signed his soul over to the King of Darkness. He's pretty stupid, relying on the power of others to do what he can't do on his own. Well, fools have their own use. Thanks to him, I finally figured out where the treasure is. Virgil began humming and looking at you from the corner of her eyes. She smiled like a little girl hiding a secret. They hit me, just like that. Now I see why that old fart Ledua was frantically heading toward the bottom floor. Where, th where that King of Darkness is. It's where the treasure is, you see? That has to be it. Ledua is exploring this labyrinth in order to get that treasure. So, you see why I can't let you get by, right? The treasure's all mine. I'll need to have you sleep in a bed at the temple. Okay, did I read that wrong? And just boss battle like right off the bat. First things first. This needs to go. That's not so much of a threat, it's that one you really want to get rid of. So I'll do that. And because she's in the back row, she can't physically attack you. So make sure you spell cancel. I guess whoever. He actually has an attack spell. Damn. This gonna work. And I do have a second dragon's tail, so. And I forgot to do the goddamn thing again. Fuck. Aw, oh, shit. I didn't mean to kill the fucking... Goddamn it. Okay, that was a lot of damage. Nope, I'm trying. That goes there. Go with there. He attacks her. She needs to frantically fucking heal. That was just insane fucking damage. That's it. I should have done a lot more than that. Asshole!
Yeah, I forgot to recharge her magic. That doesn't work on boss battles. Yes, thank you. You go first. Still crap damage, but... Strong armor, you. Nope. Shit. Of course. Well, at least it's better than fucking like 30 and 40 being taken off. Super nice. What the hell? Why do you pick on me all the time? Bitch, you attacked me! You hate me that much? I'll remember this. Don't choke on a bag of dicks, you fucking cunt. entire floor is pretty much just like teleporter rooms connected to other teleporter rooms. Okay, I'm actually gonna just make like a leaf and get the hell out of here. Back to town. What am I looking for? Salem Temple. I've ever mentioned that before, prices in here are based on like your level times a certain amount. 
It's like varies depending on what it is you're having cured. I know the most expensive ones are going to be like Resurrect and um, like Revive and Resurrect and then um, Purify. junk that is in here. Okay. Check out the bar real quick. Since I did that quest with what's-her-name, uh, they said like every so many fights, like one person will do something, so you need to do about 30 or so battles. So, I'm, yeah. All right, so how'd you do? Did you advertise it all over? Yep. All right. Give me back the sword, bitch. She took the hound sword. All right, I'm going now. I'm going to my plans as a grand opening event for Helga Mart. I'm going to sell this at an auction. You'll get a whopping bonus if I make a lot off of this. Later. got a recovering VLM, okay? And 8,000 XP. Jamie to be a bishop. Okay, so just one, two, uh, three more, okay. I guess I can just pick it up then. I mean, I need to become a bishop, but I have much to learn before becoming one. Please allow me to resurrect people from their ashes. Probably should have done that one earlier. Or just make like a shit character, have him die. And then, um... Do like a, a failed resurrection. A failed resur resurrection with a low resurrect spell. Huh. You thought you heard a voice coming from behind you. You turned around and there stood Maria. I became a priest, it's all thanks to you. So I went to the temple to see if I could work there, but... Her face became pale and tears started to form in her eyes. They said that there are too many priests at the temple. That they need bishops right now. I, I want to become a bishop. I only need one more thing. The power to resurrect someone from ashes. I know it's a cruel quest. Please, let me resurrect someone from ashes. I'll always be here. So please come back when one of you has turned to ash. But the thing with this quest is it, it'll never fail. So you can come to her and have it fixed. And that's it for now. Come back to the frickin' cold wind blows through the ruins of Duhan. There were several young men braving the cold moving forward. While you were watching, a piece of paper came flying at you. There was something scribbled on it. The revolutionary new weapons shop, Helgamart, now open on the first floor of the Labyrinth. Some grand opening event, special auction. Here's your chance to get the one and only Helga Brand Hound Sword. Don't miss out. Do -do, do -do -do. I thought somebody leveled up for some reason. <coughs> System right here before I forget. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, that was a lot of fucking bullshit.
2-5. Magical dagger with a blade emitting a subtle magical light. Can petrify and defeat the undead. Dagger that used to belong to an honorable ninja. Enables to defeat undeads. God damn it, can't be used by ninja and thief. Shit. Eh, fuck. Okay, wow, yeah. That's a lot of crap I'm doing. That boss battle was a pain in the ass. But now, this is here. Once you reach B10, an elf warrior was standing there checking passes. The magic circle to the 10th floor is finally done. This should end Sir Eugene's luck. Because many soldiers have been ordered by Sir Ladua to head there, Eugene shall be finding out the seriousness of kidnapping the Queen in the afterlife. We do give permission to adventurers to use it, but we cannot guarantee their lives. Fifteen hundred. The men were shouting their bids across the room with their powerful voices. They were in the midst of an auction celebrating the grand opening of Helgamart. Oh, welcome. You came just at the right time. Right over here. And this is probably going to be five fucking minutes. You were laid forcibly by the arm through a crowd of people. You were standing in front of the crowd by the time you realized it. Everybody stop. We have a special guest for you tonight. He's adjusted his schedule just to be here. He's a legendary adventurer who first used the Hound Sword in space. Bitch, what the fuck are you telling people? Let me introduce me. Hey, you're the... I'm glad we can meet again. I've been looking for a distinguished adventurer like yourself. Would you be kind enough to trade with me for my staff? I'll be winning the damn auction for your freaking sword. You sign it for me afterwards, dude. But the, don't you dare talk to him like that. It's like, shut up, your eyes just needs to stay the hell out of this. No matter how good of a sword and a geezer warrior like you use, it would make not a difference. Now, now, young one, I don't think you should insult your elders. Like, you shut the fuck up, too. You're an older ass, he's saving further back. <laughs> Kids these days are just ignorant. <laughs> hey, you sword swinging monkey, what the hell did you just say? I said kids these days are ignorant, am I mistaken? What? You a hole, you trying to start something? Hey, hold it, don't you dare fight at my store. This is between me and the punk, you don't need to butt into this. Yeah, if you want to whoop the little punk's ass, let me join you. <laughs> me too, God. Why don't you just try, all of you bring it. Oh, shit. He just walked me and just fucking hit her. Dude, you're saying that kind of crap with like a room full of adventurers. 
I mean, me, my party of six, comprising of, you know, a knight samurai, ninja, you know, that's already three high-end classes right there. Plus there was a, a knight already right there, plus a samurai. Several hours later, oh god. If I broke out in the room and the guests were out of control, the fight wound up outside. How could I just stop the fight, but in the process she got badly hurt? Dude, you think I fucked up. Ow. Why'd I have to end up getting hurt? I'm not gonna forgive those guys, I'm gonna sue somebody. Can't even think straight. Do you have a dragon heart by chance? If you do, may I have one? Look like dragon heart, but unfortunately you shook your head because you couldn't find one. Darn it, so you don't have any, huh? So you can't just go out and buy one. Later. We left the room dragging her wounded leg. I think you just walk out and then... God damn it, hold on. Okay, here we go. So you just leave and come back. Oh, there you are. He coincidentally bumped into the hell guy. She was coming out of her room. She started talking gloomily, still seemingly depressed from the field auction. Perfect. I was just about to go look for you. You see, I have my own room, but you don't—you don't, right? That's why I always have to go out and look for you. It's not such a big deal. But I just wanted to give you this. Carefully, carefully took something from her bag. Isn't it pretty? With this crystal, I originally planned to make money as a psychic. But I gave up on it because of her. There's already a psychic on the third and seventh floors. And ninth, but... So take this since it's just worthless trash to me now. Just saying that she forcibly shoved the crystal into your hands. Makes you feel awkward to receive something for free from Helga. You feel skeptical that you may be burned again or have to face danger. Then again, if you refuse her offer, she'll be in a grouchy mood and you'll end up carrying it anyway. This time you made up your mind to be decisive. You snatched the crystal from Helga's hand in an instant. <laughs> hey, what's up with that? You're usually a lot slower. You scared the crap out of me. Nothing happened. So it really must be trash. You don't have to. You don't feel too great about having to accept trash, but at least nothing happened. Nothing bad happened. Look how beautiful and clear it is. Just like my heart. That's why I named it Clear Quartz. But I, as my subordinate, you're always working so hard for me. I recommend that you always keep that by your side. You got a Clear Quartz. Decided to change my environment to come up with fresh ideas. I figured out that I just can't stay here forever. No ideas come from a new person in a new environment. As proof, you should have seen me just after I moved here. The inside of my head was like a bottomless lake full of ideas. Just reached that bottom though. That's why I'm going on a journey to look for that bottomless lake. It's tough to leave my hometown, but this must be God's test for me. You're probably gonna get lost if I'm not around, but don't be a wuss, okay? Maybe you should go on a journey too, and study the art of fighting like a true adventurer. Well, if you've got that kind of spare time, you should practice being polite until I return. Then I officially hire you as an employee at Helga Mart. Well, I need to head out soon, because I'm running out of time. Farewell. After Helga said her goodbye, she waves her hand without looking at you and ran towards the entrance of the labyrinth. Watching her from behind, you heard you had a hunch that this would be the last time you saw her. Ah, oh, god damn. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call it right here. When we come back, I'm actually gonna meet you in town because before I actually head off to B10, I'm gonna actually do something else real quick before I completely forget about doing it and then I won't be able to do it. So, until next time, this is Save Night on Let's Play Wizardry Tale of the Forsaken Land. Later, guys.